I just got up and I was sitting there thinking, YouTube needs men's hygiene essentials. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys to my skincare routine, what I do when I shave. This is all stuff that you can utilize. Looked into some of the products. I've looked into certain methods and techniques and realized that this is what works best for me. I know you see a lot of stuff on the internet that I use in certain products because they might smell good, but just know that the smell doesn't always correlate to quality. And you guys can easily download an app that'll tell you the quality of the product where you actually put it on. Granted, I will say, it does let him not qualify to talk about this right now because this morning I will hook with a pimple. But I'm pretty sure that's due to me having like popcorn and junk the previous day. And if you guys know that stuff can really affect like your hormones. So yeah, let's go to run straight to, through this. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all the products that I'm gonna be utilizing for my face and skincare since today i am shaving it's good to exfoliate before you shave to make sure that you can actually get all of the hairs out of the pores so we're going to be exfoliating first this is from dudes and apparently you're supposed to just brush your face with it and it allows for the pores to open up and then once that minute is up and now we can actually add our exfoliant <laughs> Now, one step I did just miss is you should wash your skin before you do the exfoliating and turn it into a massage. So now that our face is exfoliated, get our clippers. For anybody out there who's gonna make things easier, you never have to buy another like razor again, so. As you can see, fully cleared up now. So that takes us on to the next step after you actually see that it got cleaned up. And that's just getting some alcohol. And then me personally, I just rub it wherever the clippers touched. It allows to kill the bacteria that would build up. So me personally, I use this native. This is a like, holiday one, it's sugar cookie, but native in general has some pretty quality face wash. Um, and I say that because I've used multiples at this point and this is what works the best for me. It's also extremely clean ingredients and it smells great. And again, I'm really focused on that chin because that's where I usually have the most problems. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ski. <laughs> now we can move on to another step. So go ahead and let's get ready to apply Bump Eliminator. I'm gonna apply this after I apply my first coat of hydration, which I do cocoa butter. Uh, you really can't beat it, affordable quality. Got us some dudes along with that brush. They sent me like a whole kit. And that'll make sure we don't get any new bumps growing in to the best of its ability, of course. And then lastly, you got a hydration oil, which this oil acts as a sealant. When you put oil on your face or oil on your body, it seals whatever you already had on it. So you wanna make sure you do this after you've already done your other stuff. And now we have perfectly sealed the cocoa butter and the bump eliminator into our face. From here, we are going to do our smell goods. So this may seem a little hard for some of y'all to grasp because some of y'all don't know how to really put that shit on. But first thing you need, some deodorant, all right? I'll just use some degree. Honestly, deodorants are horrible for you. But at the end of the day, I'm still gonna put that shit on. You know, I ain't on my natural kick yet. What cologne we wanna have for the day. Now my collection has been growing and growing and Issey Laurent, I don't know which smell this is. They just sent it out to me. So this Issey Laurent right here is fire. Honestly, it's a different scent than what I've been having. It might sound crazy, but I got cardio to do. So that is where I'm headed next. That at the skincare, the hair care, and the scent care is all taken care of, you feel me? Gotta have that smell good, gotta have that look good. Two things, all right? It's, just, it's easy money every morning. All right, so there's only a few things that's certain in this world, and one of them is being that I'm finna go grocery shopping. So, go to unbag all of this with me. I hear it, I hear it. Oh, it's too expensive to get healthy. Shut the- You know what, Never mind. I spent $150 on all this. Chicken, steaks, more chicken, fish, fruits, 
More fruits, more fruits, more fruit. You starting to see where we going with this. More fruit, quick eats. The stuff that's gotta hold the quick eats. This is also for French toast. Another thing for the quick eats. Snacks, look, I'm a sucker for some salsa and chips. But we do these chips, just cause they're a little bit more calorie friendly. And then more snacks, finish it off with some chocolate rice cakes. Jello for the creamy cheesecake version. Sugar free though, Frank's red hot. Cause you know you gotta put that shit on everything. God damn it. <sighs> Strawberry birthday cake, creamy. Whoever came up with this, y'all just put a hill on top of the business. All right, so since I've gotten my creamy, I've been getting cons of people DM me, Kobe, drop the creamy recipes, drop the creamy recipes. Y'all better be ready for this one. All of these ingredients are labeled out on the screen. It should make up to about a creamy and a half for you. Make sure that you do have access to a creamy in the first place and also get access to that get raw nutrition protein. But guys, you do not have to use this specific protein. This is just the ingredients that I like to use that makes the consistency and the taste come out the way I genuinely enjoy it. Honestly, a creamy is pretty good, so it's pretty versatile. This is Jabba Wayne on. Hold up. Look at that. Mm. God damn it. No, you gotta love it. You gotta love this shit, man. Hey. Shit too easy. All right, so it's currently me and M's anniversary, so we're about to go head out to paint. We did a lot of stuff today. We're finna go paint bears right now, which is like, you know, like the cost figures, but like the bear, the bear brick bears. We did some other stuff today that was pretty intimate. We went to breakfast. Um, we went to go get massage, which is like, which was my first massage like ever from like somebody else. Having somebody else put their hands on me was like kind of crazy because I'm like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. This shit a little different. This shit a little uncomfortable, but you know, we finna vibe, we finna relax. It definitely got my muscles a little looser, so I'm chilling, you know, vibing. Um, it was a good experience though. It was some place called Milk and Honey in Houston. Definitely pricey, I ain't gonna lie. But M got a solid deal, so uh, it actually worked out for the best. Um, but now we are about to go in paint some David Bear Bricks, which are, if you guys do know, the bears that essentially they just like, they just stand there, like the figurines. So we're gonna go paint our own. I don't have any color schemes in mind. Um, of course. Like before we left, we was doing a lot of like stuff. Like we went jet skiing, we went ATV riding. What else we did? We went to the the penthouse was on a, like the roof and stuff yeah, like that. Like just going to a cold plunge event. event. Like we painted, we did candles, we did a candle making class. Yeah. 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 You might actually like if you do a good one, you could actually try to like add your artistic touch to it and sell it. Start with a leg or two. Is there a certain technique that's very useful or something like that? Like a good technique to get like that, like that melty vibe to it? Or you just do it? No, I'm doing it something like, like I'm doing it like that gold or black one behind. Yeah, that small one, yeah. Okay. I'll be honest. I don't care. <laughs> it, 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 like this is a good paint job that I got right now. This is a good gig. It's like. All right, so this is some shoes from OM New York, and to be real with you, bro, like, oh, bro, I'm so happy to see this box. <laughs> like, when y'all see these, y'all finna know why I'm so happy. Just cause I didn't even get the colorway I wanted, but I was still happy about the colorway that I got. Just cause, but this shit is so cold. Like, it's so cold. So far with the shoes, the collection's been real solid. But I think this is the first shoe that I really been like, oh my god, like. Like, oh my God, I can't wait to get my feet in these, all right? It's not even a sneaker or nothing like that, but to the ones who know, y'all probably just like, bro, open the box. I already want to see what kind you got. To the ones who don't know, you finna be in for a little surprise. All right, so we got a crazy unboxing and be real with y'all. Y'all finna love this one. I've been trying to catch these boys for months. Months. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Cannot be tossing this box like that, bro. Pete, those. 
It's actually kind of cool. Yeah, they OD. <laughs> they OD comfortable, for real. So it's certain shit that's remaining YouTube exclusive around here. This is one of them. Man, this clip right here, not going nowhere else. I'm just about to take some pictures because this is absolutely fire. Like the details in this box, all right? The shoes, the details in the shoes. The, damn, where my laptop bag at? God, details in the damn medallion. Come on, you kidding me? Look at that. Look, look. Come on. All right, time to take some pictures.